Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Shadow Fox 007, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Week. Uh, we're just gonna get right into it, and with a lot of crashes. And uh, this game is actually the year I was born. It came out in 1983, and um, I'll, I'll give you a little heads up. Uh, the starting of this game is rough. Probably one of my rough starts uh, of this uh, Spy Hunter, and that's actually the name of the game. In Spy Hunter, I remember playing it as a kid. There, it was in the arcades. I think you could like sit down on it, but I always remember there was like a stand-up game uh, that you could play, and it had like the whole like you know little wheel, and then you could have like a gear that you had to shift uh, uh, low to high. And damn, man, I'm just getting worked here. But surprisingly, I did well at the end, I guess. But man, that was the whole thing with these arcade games. They were just hard to play. And um, and the objective was actually quite simple: is that you didn't want to hit the civilian uh, cars. And I actually didn't know that until I started looking at the the score. Like you get no score when you shoot the civilian cars, but you have to shoot kind of. I guess I don't know if they're spies or I, the enemies, whoever they are, the ones in the black cars, uh, and that gives you more points. And along the the whole line, you get a uh, kind of drive up into a whole uh, big rig, and then the whole little. Um, uh, music starts playing which was really cool and and back in the past I thought that was always what was playing I thought it was and it just kept on looping but I guess it only does it uh, maybe for the Xbox version when you get the car just to let you know you have like maybe a power up I'm not sure but uh, or and probably more likely is I was really good at the game when I was younger and so I heard the music a lot more but now because I'm not that good at it I didn't hear it too often but here, as you can see, the uh, at least the strategy for me is that you know always try to get into that big rig to kind of give you uh, uh, the ability to avoid cars, not and you don't want to crash into them. Uh, and that was just me. And of course, then you get like the I think the smoke screen. You have like an oil slick. You also have missiles, and I got them once, but I don't really know how to use them. And but I actually prefer the smoke screen because it looked kind of cool. Uh, but I kind of wanted to show you something that, you know, was like I said, a childhood memory. Uh, I actually played the Spy, Spy Hunter 2, and I prefer Spy Hunter 1. And, and I don't know, I guess it was just because it's original for Midway. Uh, I thought it was, I didn't need all the graphics, uh, and I fail once again. But that, that was, I guess, the fun. I, I have to admit, I think I got a little, like, uh, not angry, but uh, <laughs> I was starting to rage a little bit because I it was just like it, my I, I couldn't function. It was like my hands can't do what my brain is telling me. And I guess because the screen's so small and then like things are coming so fast. So maybe because I'm older now, my reaction speed's horrible. But who knows? Whatever excuse, I'll, I'll use it. But surprisingly, this was designed by uh, George Gomez, and it, it, there's it's it's surprising because there's just really not too many Hispanic names that you see as a designer. So you know, if uh, there's something you look out, uh, you want to check out, is on the Midway Collection for uh, Xbox 360. And you know, at the end of the day, yeah, it was frustrating. It's a little. Uh, Difficult to play or well, not difficult. It's just challenging uh, more so uh, I guess than leading your hand down the lane uh, road, but like I said, that's that was what arcades were all about and um, Now looking about it. I was actually surprised and I got very lucky sometimes to get this high score But and by high I mean just high on personally, but unfortunately that was the end But stay tuned because there's more you <laughs> 